I'm going to show you six ways to use deep research to maximize your productivity and maximize your use of this state of the art feature. So almost all the AI models have added a deep research feature. Google with Gemini, ChatGPT, Grok, they all work generally the same. They have the same premise. They search the web, they get links and they search through the links and they come back and they really research and come up with the best possible answer for you. You can use any model that has a deep research feature. For this video, I'm going to be using Gemini 1.5 Pro with deep research. So our first prompt is going to help us find things to invest in. So we can say research major historical economic downturns. So for example, like the Great Depression, the 2008 financial crisis for investment purposes only. Based on these historical patterns, what type of investments are likely to be more resilient during a future recession? So it is going to come up with a research plan. So you can see here, it's going to say, we are going to research these websites. It's going to find historical data and it's telling us exactly what it's going to do. And it's going to analyze the results, create a report, and it will be ready in a few minutes. We can also edit the plan if we want to modify any of it. So I said, this is actually good. Thanks. And it is starting to research. Take a few minutes as it goes through and it's loading up different websites. It's going to find them and it's going to bring us back our investment advice. Researching 29 different websites. You can see the websites that it is researching. We can actually click these and it will open up the website itself. So we can see exactly what is going on on any individual website. Report is done. And you can see it is pretty in depth. I'm just going to do a quick brief summary for you. So you can see it has lessons from history and it goes through different types of history and where we can learn. So we have the great depression first performing investments. So we actually have a nice little table here, relatively well performing investments and reason for the differences. And it says investment strategies for economic downturns. Use deep research to find the best stocks or invest investment opportunities that we can invest in to make the most money possible. Of course, there is another way to make money and that is to create and sell a product. So deep research is actually really helpful if you want to make a product. So let me show you this prompt here. So now we have this prompt here and it is, I have an idea for a new LED light bar. It should be made of a strong material, ideally metal, but one that is affordable and cost effective for my purposes. Ideally, I want to sell the tool for no more than $29.99 per unit to the end consumer. Pocket the maximum amount of profit. Please research suppliers on how I can go about beginning to mass produce this in as short amount of time as possible. Truthfully, these take a little bit of time, but here we go. So we have manufacturing and marketing a new LED light bar. We have material selection and we can actually click learn more and we can see exactly where it is talking about and exactly what type of metals we're going to need. We can keep scrolling down. We can see the manufacturing processes and costs. And again, it's giving us information as to where this data came from. So we are able to use all this and we even comes up with estimated production cost per unit to maximize profit. So it's saying, Hey, we might be able to make this for 1350. If you follow everything that we said, potential manufacturers. So it does all the research for us to make this product. And it also tells us lead times because we said we want to do it as fast as possible. It can range from 10 days to 10 weeks. And of course there is regulations and certifications that I didn't even tell it about. And it's like, Hey, you have to do all this stuff. Here you go. And of course we have our profit margins. It even goes into a target market analysis. So we know exactly which markets we want to target. The stuff you can do on deep research is just absolutely incredible. The fact we can use it to help us create a product and then do all the research and source all the content and information that we need to get our product to market is kind of unbelievable. It's out of this world. And speaking of out of this world, this next prompt is exactly that. Our prompt is research every verifiable source that you can about UFOs and UAPs and prepare me a report of some of the theories that explain them with the most evidence or that you believe are the best supported by available evidence. So it is done. And something else I want to point out, you can see here, I've completed your research. Feel free to ask me any follow-up questions or request changes. So not only does it research, you can even ask it follow-up questions based off whatever you're talking about. So you can see here, it is going in depth about like government investigations and reports. And it's telling us about all different ones that exist and different 
UFO encounters with data that backs it up. And as always, we have the learn more with this one goes to defense.gov. So if we click it, as always, we can see exactly where it comes from. You can use deep research to help you get through information and get through fake information to get to the exact data you want to find. Number four is scientific breakthrough predictions. So you can have a prompt like identify the potential future scientific breakthroughs in the field of space exploration over the next 50 years, focused specifically on areas related to interstellar travel. And it will go through, it will research all this stuff and it will give you back a report about interstellar travel and research and predictions about things that will happen in the future. We're now going to look at code. So look up game trends and find what is most popular and what type of game would attract the most players possible. Using this research, code a game in Python and Pygame. But there's more. You can actually use this to help you learn Python and Pygame. So after writing the code, provide a detailed explanation of each section, including the purpose of each function, variable, and loop. Explain the logic behind the game, mechanics such as how the movement is handled and how things are generated and how collisions are detected. We now have a report on creating a popular game with Python and Pygame, and it tells you in an ever-evolving landscape of video games, staying ahead of the curve requires a keen understanding of current trends, and that's where this comes in. It keeps track of the current trends for us. It does all the research for us. Life is good. It tells us current game trends for 2025, and it tells you all the different stuff, so battle royale, strategy, puzzles, so on and so forth. The rise of esports, and then it goes on to say common elements in popular games and it tells you exactly everything you need to know about creating a game in 2025 that will be popular concept and design and we're going to be controlling a spaceship navigating through a space environment we're going to shoot at enemies spaceships and avoiding collision and we're going to collect power-ups to enhance the spaceship's ability increasing difficulty as the game progresses so here is our python script of how to have our space game that should be popular for this year. And it even goes on to tell us exactly how the code works. Well, so it is running in the background. It is researching 66 websites so far. And I'm just gonna scroll up. I'm gonna show you the prompt I used. So research and analyze the life and achievements of Isaac Newton, one of the most influential scientists of all time. Go beyond the commonly known by a analyze less discussed work Finally, imagine you are Isaac Newton in the later years of his life, reflecting on his accomplishments. Write a journal entry from his perspective, considering the legacy he would leave behind and his thoughts on the future of science based on today. I think this is a really cool way of using the tool because now you can use it to take on personas of historical characters and get their thoughts and their feelings through deep research. We have Sir Isaac Newton, a life of a genius, and we can see his biography here and then we go on to learn about his early life and education and as always there are the arrows which shows us the sources as to where it got all this data from so this one researched 88 different websites and it gave us back all this information a complex and troubled mind and we can keep going down and it tells us different information about his career, his vision. Research is a really cool and powerful tool. This is just six ways that you can start using it today to maximize your usage of a deep research AI. How are you using deep research? Let me know in the comments below. Is there any cool creative ways that you're using that I did not list? Definitely share it so other people know about it as well. Maybe you can even share a prompt so everyone kind of wins. Don't forget to subscribe because most of you who watch this are not subscribed and don't forget to leave a like on the video that just tells the algorithm that you enjoy this content and that more people should watch it. It helps myself and actually helps you as well because now the algorithm will be giving you more content like this. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You're meant to be